Good morning children, glad to meet you again today. Before we start our activities, let us start the day with a meditation with God's word this morning, taken from Journey to God's Promised Land book, written by Pastor Maralab Sagala. Our topic for today is The Humbleness of Moses. Before we proceed, shall we start with a prayer? Thank you, Lord, for the new day. Now we are ready to listen to your words. May your Holy Spirit be within us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Our memory verse for today is from Exodus chapter 32, verse 32. It says, Yet now, if you will, Forgive their sin, and if not, please blot me out of your book which you have written. When God had revealed his wrath over Israel's apostasy, Moses showed his noble identity. He tried to soften the heart of God, his God by saying, Why, Lord, has your wrath risen against your people, whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt with great force and with strong hands? Moses tried to soften God's heart. Then Moses went down to the foot of the hill of Sinai, and saw the reality of the great sin that was committed by the nation which was to worship idols to the statue of an ox. Moses rebuked his brother Aaron. What did these people do to you that you caused them such great sins? Israel's apostasy at the foot of the Sinai hill was a great sin to God. Moses saw with his own eyes that the people were like a horse released from a stable. For Aaron had released it until it was a scorn for their opponents. Moses was angry. Moses realized that sins was worthy of arousing God's wrath and deserving them to be destroyed. The only way out is forgiveness. Then Moses returned to the Lord and by the humbleness of the sentence he begged for forgiveness from God for the sins of Israel, saying, May you forgive their sins, and if not, would my name be erased from the book you wrote? He desired to get God's forgiveness, willing to not be counted by God for forgiveness for the Israelites. Children, Moses is a humble leader who likes to sacrifice himself for his nation. Let us be God's children that is humble, who likes to do good deeds to our friends. This is the end of our morning worship. May God bless us today. Amen.